Hey there, Psych2Goers. Welcome back to another video from Psych2Go, aiming to make everyday psych more fathomable. So let's begin. Toxic parenting refers to the negative parental behavior that inflicts emotional harm upon a child. Children may suffer from low self-esteem and low initiative when growing up in a toxic environment. The traits and attitudes of a child depend on the style of parenting used to raise them, but not all parenting styles are helpful in this aspect. And some can even be toxic and harmful. Wondering if your parents' actions are toxic? Here are seven toxic things parents do to their children. One, they over-control their kids. What's the difference between being over-authoritative and being over-controlling? Well, authoritativeness is related to feelings of security and support. The latter usually involves parents who are overly strict of their children and want them to act or behave in a certain way of their own liking. Although discipline is a must in the process of upbringing, the toxic trait of an over-controlling parent is that the child often has little to no choice, which can lead to unhappiness. Two, they disregard their child's boundaries. Everyone has a right to their personal boundaries and privacy. As parents, it's normal for them to be invested in every aspect of their child's life. However, some parents take it to another level where it becomes toxic. They may invade so much into their child's personal life that their child may begin to feel uncomfortable, whether out of love or insecurity. Parents overstep healthy boundaries thinking they're being responsible, while in reality, it takes away a child's sense of individuality. Three, they're too critical towards their child. Ever felt like nothing you did was ever good enough? Well, that can be a result of having an overly critical parent. The toxic thing about this is that even when you feel like you've tried your hardest and your best, your efforts are overlooked by them, focusing on what you didn't accomplish rather than what you achieved. It can feel very discouraging when your efforts are not acknowledged. Research has also shown that children need a form of support and encouragement from parental figures. Four, they refuse to understand their child's perspective. Everyone has a unique perspective they're entitled to. However, toxic parents fail to recognize the importance of their children's point of view. They don't make the effort to look at the issue at hand from your eyes. Rather, they consider you to be unequipped for forming any kind of opinion, calling you inexperienced, and label themselves as looking out for you. Having an unreasonable parent can be tough for a child, as it makes it difficult to communicate with them effectively. 5. They manipulate their kids without even knowing it. Did you ever force yourself to do something your parents wanted you to do? If so, it might be due to them manipulating you into submission, whether knowingly or unknowingly from guilt tripping to other forms of emotional blackmail. Manipulation is one of the things toxic parents do. The most common tactic of manipulation would be the use of money. As children, you rely on your parents for money. It can be used as a form of blackmail. It often is used to make you behave according to their expectations. Other than this, there's always the common narrative of not wanting to let your parents down. Six, they give their child the silent treatment. Have you ever received the silent treatment just because you weren't being obedient? Disagreements are common between parent and child in the phases of growing up. However, shutting themselves out after a fight with their children is toxic. Being unable to communicate the differences is considered to be unhealthy in any form of a relationship. It's also worse for a child because you usually learn from your parental figure. And seven, they give in to their child's every demand. What does it mean to spoil a child? It often means to give in to a child's demand or desires to a point where the child begins to feel deserving of things. Now, what makes this unhealthy? Well, it can have several negative effects on you as a child. One of them is depending on others for things and expecting it. You may also start to have the mentality that things need to be handed to you instead of working hard for what you want. Most of the time, our parents want the best for us, but what they think is the best may not always be right for us. What defines a healthy way of parenting may still be subjective. More importantly, we must remember that most matters can be solved through healthy communication and appropriate forms of action. Now that you've heard some of the unhealthy things parents do to their children, do you recall encountering any while growing up? Or have you seen them being practiced around you? Can you now discern when parental love crosses over into the realm of toxicity? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, share with those you think might benefit from this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.